What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome. I am the Crypto Crow. And today I want to tell you something. Uh, you're going to learn today uh, because you don't realize it, but Cardano, uh, pretty much every cryptocurrency on the market is actually worth a lot more than you think it is because we're not taking something into account in most of our equations. And that is the value of the dollar and we're going to go into this now many of you guys have gals have gotten super excited when you saw bitcoin peak out at seventy thousand dollars and we're thinking oh my god and then we see cardano sitting at 75 cents and we're thinking it's so close it's almost to a dollar we got to break a dollar what if i told you bitcoin already broke almost a hundred thousand and cardano almost broke a dollar well, we're going to look at it, look at it right now. So, and before I get into this, I'm going to let you know that I am not, this video is not about politics. This video is not about uh, partisan anything, any of the bourgeois out there. I don't really give a shit. It doesn't matter. Um, you know, we, 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 this has been an ongoing thing for decades. This isn't anything new, but it has gotten significantly worse over the last few years. I will say that the numbers don't lie, uh, but regardless, it's not what this is about. So we're going to take a look at the value of the dollar today. As of right now, $1 from 2016 is worth $1.29 today. That's not really what it's saying. What we need to look at is the spending power of the dollar. So the buying power of a dollar over time between 2016 and 2014 or 2024 if the dollar was worth a dollar in 2016, today, it's actually only worth 75 cents. It's a 25% decline in the dollar in just a number of years, okay? So this is over eight years, we've lost 25% of the dollar. And nobody is really calculating that into the valuations of the cryptocurrency markets, as we understand Bitcoin, Cardano, a lot of these uh, cryptocurrencies are basically a hedge against inflation. It's one of the big reasons why it was created. It's, it's, it's like a replacement money supply, a replacement um, you know, store of value, so to speak. Now, you can see the inflation rates here have just gone up. 2021, 4.7%. 2022, 8% doesn't even get into 2023 yet. So if you were to, if, the, if at this rate, I mean, I don't even, I'm not even 100% sure what the inflation rate was in 2023, but let's just assume it's the same or worse because it started out at, uh, you know, and, and so you can look, 20, 2017, it was 2.3%. It went all the way up to 2.49%. And then 2019, it started to come back down, right? And, and you know, if we want to get political about it, we can say this stuff tends to peter out a little bit towards election cycles, right? Because the administrations don't want to have to explain astronomically high uh, inflation the year that everybody's really paying attention, okay? And so we can see 2020, um, you know, the first year of a new administration, it was at 1.23%. Then boom, 47 Eight percent, just bam, bam, just worse and worse and worse. All this money printing, right now. A lot of people could say, "Well, we had COVID, and that changed a lot of things, and there was a lot of money printed, and they're all, you know." But that's a whole other issue. Okay, what we know is, starting in 2020, everything started to skyrocket, but we're not accounting for a lot of that. So basically, by the by this metric in 2016, you know, in order for you to buy you know, $500 worth of, of goods, you're, today you'd have to spend $642. Now, what we're seeing on top of that is we're seeing what, what Biden would reference that, you know, he was talking, you know, a lot of people made fun of him. Um, and we're not done with these charts, but, you know, a lot of people would make fun of Biden for talking about, um, I forget what he called it, but basically like a bag of chips, uh, today, you know, they're, they, they're trying to hide the fact that they're putting, you know, 20, 30 percent less chips in the same bag, same size, blah, 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 trying to pull the wool over your eyes, making you feel like you're getting the same thing.
thing you're used to getting for the same money, but you're not. Everybody was kind of, you know, clowning Biden for that. Listen, I'm not a Biden fan, but let's be real about it. This is a thing. And a lot of these corporations are increasing prices or they're cutting down on deliverables for the same money. And they're trying to offset the, the the inflation, okay? The value of the dollar continuing to go down. And that is potentially going to get significantly worse as we move forward. And we're seeing other countries kind of merge together, creating their own, their new currencies. They're dropping the dollar for this, that, and another thing. The writing is on the wall. And so when we look at this and we think, wow, you know, the value of the dollar is really declining. Things are not looking so hot. How is the, how is this going to to change? And we can see the effects that it's having on different industries, from housing, transportation, and so forth. Now, if we use these same metrics and we say, okay, well, if the value of a dollar is worth substantially less today than it was even in 2016, by these by these metrics, and and you know, and it goes even beyond 2016. Obviously, I'm just trying to keep things in a more relatively short term, and I'm basing this around the time when I got into crypto. What has changed since I got into crypto in 2017? And this is what has changed. The value of the dollar today is between 30 to 40% uh, lower than it was in 2016, because we don't even have the, the, the numbers for 2013, or uh, uh, excuse me, 2023, and I'm going to have to assume that it's the same or worse, but either way, it's much, much, much different. So even if we were to just take Cardano currently, it, you know, let's say when it, it's at 75 cents, and we say, well, 30% of that or 29% of that is 21 cents. Well, I mean, there you go. We're at 96 cents in Cardano right now. Um, well, not right now. It's it's come down. The market's been correcting a little bit. But let's just say, you know, Bitcoin at $70,000. Okay. Um, let's just say 30%. All right. Because that's realistically where we're at. Um, you know, $70,000 at 30%, that takes us to a $91,000 Bitcoin when Bitcoin hit 70 grand based off of the inflation since 2016. So when we're calculating these figures and we're thinking, oh, Cardano's got to get back to this if Bitcoin gets back to this, it already has. I mean, and, and a lot of these other cryptocurrencies have as well. And you can calculate this stuff out. Just look up the numbers. I would like to know what the 2023 rate is, but I'm going to assume it's pretty high. Um, but, you know, that's 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 what you need to keep into consideration when you're talking about cryptocurrency valuations today, because the valuations of today are very much different than they were in 2016. And, the, the, you know, uh, a cryptocurrency worth a dollar today is technically technically worth, you know, like a dollar thirty, dollar forty compared to the the inflation rates of the dollar over the last eight years. And it's going to continue changing. So in 2024 into 2025, where are we going to be at in inflation and how does that affect the cryptocurrency price? Luckily, crypto is still in its infancy, right? We're still establishing, um, you know, the cream of the crop and we're still establishing all of these different systems and the tokenization of this and that and another thing. And so we're growing these market capitaliz uh, capitalizations exponentially in these bull market cycles but we are going to get to a point whether it's now or 2030 or whatever where we're not going to see these dramatic fluctuations in price and it may be the case in the 2024 2025 market because the institutions are buying in and once we get to the point where we're going to start tokenizing all assets as larry fink has said then you know we're, we're going to move away from the dollar as it were and into the stable coins the cbdc's the basically the, the the controlled system right and we're going to probably and i've been saying this for years now it's very likely we're going to have to use cbdc's these cbdc trackable uh, stable coins to get in and out of cryptocurrency positions. And every time we enter a crypto position, these stable coins that are issued to us through a universal ID of some sort, it's going to track everything. So no longer, you know, are, are people going to be able to hide these transactions or not claim their, their crypto profits and their taxes? I mean, those days are numbered, just so you know. 
I personally enjoy freedom. I would much rather pay my tax bill and just be done with it and like not have to worry about it anymore than try to play a bunch of crypto games. I'm not a greedy person. If I do really, really well and, you know, I owe the tax man, you know, I say, you know, what do I owe? And then we write the check and we don't and I don't think about it again for the most part. And believe me, I tried the Puerto Rico thing. Wasn't worth it. I left all that behind. You know, you can you can think what you want, but you know, the 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 fact of the matter is is the tax may cometh, and there are only two things that are certainties in the world, right? Death and taxes. Well, you know, that's just kind of how the cookie crumbles. But if you also take that into consideration when you're looking at your crypto gains, you know, if your portfolio says, Oh, it's worth a hundred thousand dollars right now, technically it's worth about 130 plus. So that difference in inflation, that's getting paid off to the tax man. And that's the way it is. And um, you know, listen, I hope this video kind of helps put things in a better perspective for you because as these prices continue to go up in the crypto market, as more people are getting out of the dollar, they're putting it into crypto and they're trying to hedge their interests against inflation which we all know has gone rampant it's gone absolutely bonkers well at least now you have an opportunity to capitalize on what's going on in this new industry this new tokenized decentralized marketplace that we call crypto that we know and love so much so until next time thanks for joining me i'll see you soon grow your coins